Ooh, no brutality at all. Yeah, not getting help from those tubes. Alright, it's all brute. It doesn't look brute, but I promise it will be eventually. Woo! Bring it on, big guy. Oh, brute, no toots. You got it, Luke. Yeah, they've shuffled things up quite a bit. Alapex. It's a, it's different, for sure. Oh, extra jumps. Hell yeah. <laughs> extra jumps and two brute. That's way better. Um, also, for challenge rifts, we do take challenge rifts if we're before the first boss. We do not take them if we're after the first boss. On... Curse days. But I'm sure you'll get it if you keep stabbing at it. Night Fox. <laughs> it's definitely not that. I think it's for the ethical treatment of animals. Alright, we're gonna respect Rampagers today while we're cursed, y'all. Gonna respect them. And we'll crush Guardians. Oh boy. Yes, Rampagers are the speedy green slasher people. Yep. Now, I I also have been relying on stuff I'm more comfortable with, uh, especially if I'm headed to new places like the distillery where I'm not quite sure whoo, how they would play with different stuff. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to end up with a war job on a grappling hook and off-brand Cheetos when I'm in a scary place that I haven't been that many times. Shoot me. <laughs> Whoa! That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let's not do that too much. Alright, and with the way the shops work now, we should be able to afford a new Cursed Sword later in the run. Uh, no, Night Fox. I, the distillery is, in my opinion, not a very good world area. Uh, feels very gimmicky and rushed and no also I want that W not not trying to well I guess we hot dog if we take challenge reps but ah well uh, our first visit to the distillery that we successfully navigated is on YouTube as well as one run of each color um, and all but the tactics one one run of each color in 2.0. All but the tactics run take us through the distillery. Yeah, it's. A, I mean, on paper, it's a cool idea for an area. I think in execution, it's just kind of gonna get old pretty pretty soon here. And if I go there, it'll be for run variety, not because I think it's good. Whoa! I didn't realize it like looped. You made it through the Hindless Hordes, back through the Miller, back through the Sleep- back to the Sleeper? That's insane. Yeah, I mean, it's- it's like a barrel launcher course, basically. <laughs> Night Fox, and it's got ambient traps where, like, barrels are bouncing all around, kind of Donkey Kong style. Um, it's not very- 
I just don't find it very tuned. To be fair. Oh, wow. So you just fought long enough to get to the sleeper. Let's go. Yeah, let's go to the promenade. Oh, good call, Matt. But it's always until you get to the sleeper the first time. It's always in the right order, right? Like, you're going to fight the miller, then you're going to fight the sleeper. At least, well, I haven't been to the farmstead that much. And very little on our Blood Moon save. Okay, let's reroll it a little bit. There we go, Toxic Cloud with each hit. I like it. That's far more kills than I've ever gotten, for sure. In the farmstead. I've had bad experiences in the farmstead. Alright, I think we're gonna go... Killer Instinct first, then we'll do Open Wounds. Nice to have people bleeding and poisoned just by touching them with this. ever do a triple deke in Dead Cells. <laughs> I just really want to be a mighty duck, and I'm not sure they'll let me do it if I can't triple deke. Alright, so I'm always like... Highly anticipating and yet vaguely dreading challenge rifts on these cursed days. Um, I kind of want to see one, it'd be a thrill, but you know, a shame to end a run because of platforming. Wait, any boss? Like you could fight the hag in the farmstead? doesn't hurt to re-roll anymore. But I don't want any of that. Really, I would only want replacements for the things we've already got. This lacerating aura or fire grenade. Okay, so you're not going to hit the Baron or somebody. OC? Is that the Shield Breaker one? I can't remember the name of all the DLCs. Woo! He's mad. Woo! That ah, was not good. Wow! Well, that makes the Farmstead way scarier. Also, that Elite has a star on it, which means we do want to kill him. Uh, we're going to do it by throwing this nade at him. And then hopefully... Oh my god. We're going to wait for a new nade! <laughs> um, I did, D-Tats. I did. Refresh, I would suggest. Also, please refrain from telling me what I need to do. If you want to be helpful, you can <laughs> suggest, maybe. Oh boy, that turret. I am going to cheese the turret. Eight normal bosses? I would never survive that. Okay, we have a turret elite who's being a pain in the ass. Uh, at least we know his power now. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty cheesy. Uh, but he's dead, and it turns out the star was just a legendary crowbar. That's not something we're interested in.
Well, I appreciate that, Mr. Tafts. Uh, basically, if it's a direct command and it's the first thing you've said, it will come off as rude, because it is rude. <laughs> but, yeah. I appreciate the attempt at the heads up. Woo, that's a nice curse sword. Let's do it. Alright, so this guy no longer has little poison clouds on every attack, but it's we're gonna roll it for something just as good or better. You. And I am not going to fight optional elites, because our currently our amulet is really, really good. It's got extra jumps, it's got all brutality, it's good stuff. No. Nope, they're not going to draw me into a bigger fight than I can manage. So my instinct was to go run for the shield generator. That would not have been prudent in the slightest. Oh shit. Is he gonna teleport? Yeah, he's gonna teleport. Just takes him a minute. I don't mess around with shielded enemies. They're kind of my Achilles heel. God. At least he can only teleport when he's unshielded, so we know he's gonna be free. You mean like dumbly powerful? Quickbow did get a pretty hefty nerf, Matt. And I can't remember exactly how much. But the crits do less damage now. I don't know how viable it is. I haven't played a lot with Quickbow since they did that. So I'm not sure. I want to say it's one where I picked it up. I could feel that it had been weakened, but I didn't keep it, keep with it for very long. And then people in chat seem to still have a pretty high opinion of it. Uh, but I don't think it's the overpowered machine gun that it once was. Ew. I'm telling you, man. These, these shielded enemies really... Oh, shit! That would have been a great example of how to die on a cursed sword run. Just get stunned while a bombardier... Okay, cool, cool. I trust Luthamir. So it seems like it'd still be viable. The the one-handed ranged weapons are kind of in a weird spot right now. I think multiple knockbow might be my favorite because they sped it up, unless they re-nerfed it. I don't know if they did or not, but um, that thing is fast now. If you can get it to pierce, it's pretty nice. All right, one more scroll of power and then on to the depths. We will unlock our teleporter here. I often make the bad mistake of not doing that. And sorry we have some upload jitter right now. Uh, I know we're, we're dropping frames all over the place like Pringles in the living room. Oh, nice, Luthamir. I have been meaning... I've had it in my head. My head's been like, you should go back to gunfire. There's probably some cool changes. But I haven't. Uh, well, depending on what his power is, this could be a nightmare scenario. <laughs> but we made it. And all I want is this. Yeah, no, I. the last patch of gunfire, it seemed like they really buffed up Yoruime Maru, the final boss. Because we got to him a couple times. But one time it was just like straight 
one shot, an octopus spawned behind me and just, boom, literally one shot me. And then the other time, it seemed like he had a lot more HP, maybe? I'm not sure what the deal was, but... He was kind of a pushover the first time we beat him, but that was on a different patch. And then the second time, most of the world balancing felt kind of the same. But yeah, I think he'd been enhanced. But I'm not sure. Gunfire's a lot of fun. Gunfire's strangely addictive. Okay, so far so good. Oh, nice! <laughs> More... I guess that wouldn't be a poop knife. Would that be like a forge knife? Now we have Toxic Cloud back on this. And it's a higher level weapon. Uh, curse sword. So we'll be doing quite, quite good damage, I think. Hey, speaking of quick bows. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I still find myself like nervous and playing differently with this curse than with our curse sword, which it is different. Uh, we don't have our H rune when we've got a proper chest curse, but um, I mean it's basically the same thing. We're one shot. Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. My trigger finger was loose. Woo! Definitely almost threw a knife. For this new gunfire patch, Luthamir, have you played enough to be able to tell whether it seems like new stuff is just in the loot pool or whether we have to unlock it? And of course, I realize you might just be like a run in or something, so it might be hard to tell. Yes. Oh, good. That's not great. That's scary stuff. Haha! <laughs> okay, uh, ground pounds are applying bleed with our open wounds, and then our sword is applying bleed with open wounds as well as toxic poison because of an affix it's got, so it's pretty good. Anybody coming up? Really? I'm always shocked when there's nobody on a shelf like that. Okay, sweet, sweet. So, like, maybe ones that are low threshold unlocks. That's cool. I wonder... There's a ton of stuff to unlock in that game that I know I haven't even scratched the surface of because somebody in chat who'd 100%ed all the unlocks was talking about how at least one thing... That's creeping me out, yeah. Why won't she just rush me? Um, I was talking about one thing was, like, you can only find them in the fjord and you have to kill, like, 60 of them. Amitsi! Good to see you. How you doing? Yeah! We did some Cuphead to start. Got perfect scores on every boss. On Expert. Now we're... I don't know. I was just feeling it. I want to do some cursing. But yeah, typically we do these on Friday. I don't know. Just mixing it up. We have damage in a big way. And I like that. But everything's so foggy. There we go. <laughs> That's who I was looking for. Heard the growl, thankfully. Oh! I really thought he might get me with that. 
Holy smokes, right? Wow. <laughs> Straight up old fashioned voodoo curses, St. Grief. Good to see you. How you doing? <laughs> what is up? Nobody? Really? Okay. We'll see what that legendary is, maybe. A fragment, yay. Huh. It'll show us on the map, eventually, when we get... Nice. Well. I hope it has been pleasing so far. Ooh, he's sitting right on it. And lacerators are especially pains in the ass as elites because they're so quick. All right, we'll see what he got. I don't know what his power was, but he's dead now, and that rampager might come for us. Thankfully, no. Let's draw you out. Oh my goodness! Oh. Baby's first homunculus rune. What is this thing? Looks like a force shield. Woo! He almost got another attack off, too. Yeah, I do not want a legendary force shield, but I will take the 750 gold pieces that's worth. The smoke? Oh, if you like hang out in the fog? Like it damages you? That would be... I already try to prioritize killing foggers, but that would be gross. Who are you? Where are you? You're a slasher, and there might still be someone else here. That's always the most important thing to remember. <laughs> it's still not over. Oh, uh, smoke hurting us would make cur cursed runs extremely uncomfortable. What's up, Spack? All right, so far so good. On to the ossuary. Yeah, that's a good point, Luthamir. And I, I'm not, especially the more we play of Neon Abyss, I'm not a fan of must get damaged. Uh, that is not my favorite thing. If you put me in a situation where it's just like, hey, it's one thing to sacrifice a heart slot or something like that. An argument could be made, it's basically hurting you. But to just straight up like, all right, take your licks. I'm like, oh man, I hate getting hit. I could see slowdown being interesting. It would, that would be, for what sounds like not that big of a change, that would be a drastic change to the way the game works, though. Because they put foggers in quite a few places now. This place gives me the willies, because everybody is a thorny all the time. They're all thornies. I'm sorry, Zangrief. I like Neon Abyss, it's fun, but the fact that now that I know that that fourth boss is locked behind... Uh, like a, a non-guaranteed mechanic, like some runs we just can't get to Ares, like that's why. That's a very artificial inflation of playtime that... Uh, I've got all the time in the world and I don't have time for that. 
If a game doesn't respect my time, then I can't respect it fully. Um, but yeah, so we, if you missed our Neon Abyss yesterday, we did two very clean runs, just right up through Zeus, finished him off, and I was confused, I was like, wait, why did we fight Zeus? And then we reread the Ares description, and it's like, you need a special token to fight him. Uh, so they make it sound like something you need to find, but lo and behold, you don't actually need to find it, you need to roll for it in the Violence Chapel, which requires you to kill the stuff that can be opened with purple crystals and... Um, Take damage from it. Fill up your violence meter. Go to the violence shrine. And then you get a chance. And... Yeah, so I go in there. I get to roll whether I get to fight my progression boss. And then if I don't, then I just have to fight the other Zeus again. And then... It kicks me out of the game. So I can't even, like, keep going and try again or something. Uh, I just... You know, you're back at the bar, back at the hub, which is weird because I don't think I don't know if Neon Abyss is early access, but I don't think it is. Which means, like, what? Why? What? What is this? Um, but that's cool. Um, it's a different style of game, but I'm still enjoying my time with it. I just wish they let me progress. Uh, best weapon in Dead Cells spec? Really going to come down to personal preference. So try them out would be my recommendation. Um, Nice, Luthamir. <gasps> Did you get a legendary one? I guess. I, I guess yes. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. In Gunfire. My goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, if it's your first run, uh, just feel things out, Spack. So, the, the early, early, early advice is just... It can be very helpful to prioritize health flask upgrades when you're given the option to, to do upgrades. But other than that, have fun. And it's just all practice. Oh, hell yeah. That's a lot of large ammo, but I feel like if you've got good support for ammo, it doesn't become a problem. I, I alternate on how I feel about ammo availability on Gunfire. Sometimes I feel like I can't get it. Yeah, that's a good point. Electric Whip is really solid. I like uh, the Bleed Sword. I can't remember if that's a default unlock or not. But the Blood Sword and the... Impaler are pretty solid. Those are both going to be Brutality. But yeah, Electric Whip is a... A monster. A happy monster. Alright. Uh, we are scooting through. I don't trust Corpse Juice. They're so fast. I don't play around with these guys. They're nasty. So I think tomorrow we're going to play Darkest Dungeon and Satisfactory. And in Darkest Dungeon, we did our second segment of the Darkest Dungeon itself. And we killed the Viscount, so no more Crimson Curse. So we're we no more fanatic for now. Um, our infection infestation of bloodsuckers is at absolutely nothing. So we should be able to buff up a team of new sixes who haven't been into the darkest dungeon. Get them ready. Send them into segment three. Once we get segment three down, segment four. We've only got we've got eight deaths. So that's unfortunate, but we have a, a little bit of room. So even if we were to fail, uh, we would still be cooking. And our scroll count is beautiful thanks to. Two color scrolls actually having brutality this time. No challenge rifts yet, and no optional curses. Though we do have a special curse here. Just down in the open. So, sorry, special. Guaranteed curse here. But yeah, I'm feeling cautiously optimistic about our Darkest Dungeon Estate. The That Viscount, man. We absolutely... It was imperative because of the presence of the Fanatic and the number of people we had infected. We had to kill the Viscount. And thankfully, we barely made it, um, but we did. Yeah, remember. <laughs> Glover Confidants. Fizz, a row, and Amphibious Schiller. 
Oh boy. We're gonna have to kill that dude, probably. Um, but I'm not gonna fight elite fights I don't absolutely have to, so we're gonna scout it out a little bit. The reason being, we've got uh, a very nice amulet already. It's got two brutality, it's got an extra jump. It's just a real beast, and I'm not in the market. Uh, I mean, we would take a challenge rift here before the first boss, but there are some chances I'm more comfortable taking than others. And Random elites with their surprise lasers that can occasionally be janky. Um, that's not my jam. Um, no, the, the, the color emanating from a door is basically just kind of the flavor of the area. There's no real direct correlation of difficulty. Now, it happens that, like, yeah, early on, this area that we're in now that has a red door, the ossuary, it is difficult um, compared to, like, the ramparts. But, but no, the color isn't directly related to the difficulty in... It's not hard because it's that color. It just happens to be that color and hard as well. And while there are some universally agreed upon, like this is a challenging area, like the cavern, um, High Peak Castle, usually it comes down to personal preference again because it's going to be like, which enemies is my playstyle weakest to? Um, or which... You know, things are more likely to surprise me, like this. Uh, the shockers are pretty rough to get used to. Yeah, so Switch version would be one patch behind this. We're in 2.0 beta on PC. Um, woo! I almost got shockered in a big, big way up there. Well, right, but Night Fox, I mean, I think the, like, enjoyment of an area is kind of a separate path than its objective difficulty level. I like the Slumberry Sanctuary, but I think it's objectively more difficult than, like, Sepulcher. But, again, it's largely personal preference, and it comes down to everybody's got a different play style. All right, so we've got one of these bad boys. Stun him. Morass. Eh. See, so sewers... I don't find sewers more difficult. Once I stop falling in poison pits as much, there are days where I'm going to be way worse in the promenade. Uh, then in Toxic. It just depends. Uh, you know, it's which day. Like, are Buzzcutters gonna get my gourd, or are Bombers gonna get it? Bombardiers. Um, it's tricky. But yeah, Morass is so build-dependent. There are some areas that are really build-dependent for me. Um, where, if I've got the wrong stuff in the Morass, it can feel so clunky. Like, if I've got a Crusher, and Wolf Traps, and a Broadsword, and a Shield, that's a weird one. But if I've got a wave of denial and lacerating aura and things that allow me to just kind of flip around and deal out murder um, with the tactics build, those work out quite well because everybody's so clumped up and it's super dangerous if you stop. But as long as you're moving and killing, um, you'll just burn through everybody. It depends. Uh, also, sewers are one where I feel like it becomes easier once your sixth sense starts telling you ahead of time. You're like, okay, I'm about to have... Scorpions behind me. There's bound to be a scorpion behind me. Or like Purlin Zombie inbound. Boom. Uh, and then once you've developed like the timer on, you know they threw some eggs not too long ago. And so that means there are green biters somewhere about to teleport and bite at your heels. Um, it's scary. Also, for Arboretum and Ancient Sewers, like getting in. getting in the rhythm of Impaler Spike. or shrooms um, is like 
how long you have to finish your current business before running away from the spikes, things like that. Uh, making those judgment calls of like, am I going to be able to roll out of these if I stay and fight these dudes? Um, that's all very tricky too. All right, let's cl let's leave without a curse. Yeah, demons are nasty. And Spec, that is a rite of passage. Your first curse death in Dead Cells is one you will remember. And that's why curses are thrilling, which is why we're doing... We're just cursed the whole run for this. But curses do get easier to clear with time. And they're a great way to learn the enemies. Because there are some things you can get away with sometimes if you're able to take damage. That if you're one shot, you really need, you know, that's what helps you learn is like the edges of the explosions for these bombardier bombs, things like that. Where you're like, nope, I am exactly far enough away to not get blown up. Which, speaking of the Abyss, that's probably my biggest non-meta pet peeve is the explosions in that game are far larger than they... Uh, look on screen. So it's like, oh look, the explosion reaches to here, and then like two more in-game meters are hurt boxy. Please don't be elites. Cool. We're waiting on our nade. And yeah, that's totally fair. <laughs> uh, curses are an acquired taste that you'll learn to love later. Um, they can be tricky to deal with if you're just hoping to like get through your first few runs and everything. All right. On to the Black Bridge, man. Hopefully we'll be all right. Now, we have extra jumps right now. And that, uh, it is kind of nice to have a bigger health pool with Cursed Sword Days. Just because things like the Darkness and the Sepulchre won't instantly kill us. So, theoretically, we could need some health, but... Uh, Definitely not worth giving a jump up over. I need to re-roll this thing because it's going to freeze on parry. No, thank you. Burn him with the parry. There you go. Now we're talking. And our last rating R is freezing people. I just don't want a frozen concierge. I don't want a frozen anybody. There you go. Bleed! Bleed in the end. Yes, we have. This is definitely in game gear spec. All right, let's do it. We're going to have outrageous damage. Hopefully we'll make it work for us. Don't double. Don't double. Okay, that's still fine. Why that thing needs to stun me every time, but it's okay. Whew. Jump, jump, jump. That could have gotten us doubled. That was scary. Whew. Holy moly. I got way too dicey with that. <laughs> but it worked. I think Concierge is harder than that giant sometimes on Curse Day. Yeah, he was durable. He was a durable fella. Good for him. Concierge deserves a little love. Whew. All right, we can breathe again. Still time. Still time. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Legendary high boots of boots. Mm, allow me to say no thanks. All right, Stilt is not terribly forgiving. We've got bombers here. We've got weirded warriors here. The crab samurai. We've got pirate captains who are very smart. We have lots of nasties. Knife throwers. Kamikaze bats. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I have boots of boots. I've gotten to where I can kind of enjoy them in a silly run. But they're just not. I mean, they're a spam weapon. Like, we have to spam to make them effective. In a way where I'm just like, hitting the button, hitting the button, hitting the button, hitting the button. Uh, that gets a little silly. And the acrobatic combos are never going to be my favorite weapons. Oh, shit. Whoa. Let's, let's take them out. Oh, shit. Can he see me? He can't see me. Yep, exactly. You're not quite sure when you need to stop spamming. Hayabusa boots are a little, a little silly. You. Would you look at all these guys? And sorry, we have more upload jitter. I apologize for the technical difficulties. That should even out in just a moment. Alright, we've got our first key. Bank shot. Okay. I'm tiptoeing, but I don't mind tiptoeing right now. Who's on that shelf looking at me? Hopefully no one too surprising. <laughs> What's up, Esper? Yeah, I think usually the jitter we experience here is on Twitch side. Because it doesn't happen for other uploading that I do. Um, like to YouTube, but maybe live streaming is unique in the process. Oh, I'm sorry, Dirka, fighting the collector. That sucks. I hate that attack. So the key, if you're going to run away from pirate captains, make sure you run so far away that the bomb isn't going to find you. That's a lesson I learned the hard way several times. And still occasionally relearn. <sighs> Alright, scrolls galore. the second key. I like that we have a little elevation between us and the mobs. So the question I'm asking each time I see, like, um, an area like this is, who else is there? So, like, for instance, that pirate captain. We know there's a pernal zombie hiding over there, um, but that pirate captain could have been a, a very un unpleasant surprise. 
Especially since even killing him or parrying for a pirate captain, you never know. Like, we may already have a green biter chasing us, things like that. Um, it's not friendly. It's scary. I'm sorry, Dirka. Dude, the collector sucks. The darkest dungeon collector. And those collected highwaymen every time. That headhunt. Is, is the occultist still alive, though? I've got faith. Hmm. We're gonna go around this way. Something to watch out for in Still Village. Uh, it can be enticing to climb up the outside of the building, especially if you have extra jumps that are making it easier for you. Be very careful if you're climbing up this shit. Pirate captains above and off screen will shoot bombs that are kind of cascading down the building. Uh, and that can... Well, be awful for obvious reasons. And surprising is the... That's what makes it so dangerous. Is You're climbing up, you're climbing up, you hear boom! And then also... Pirate captains are pretty smart, and so they will throw that bomb and then teleport to you. <laughs> so then you've got their body to deal with as well as their bomb. Uh, they're nasty. They tag team well. With themselves. We need 13 more for the kill streak. That's like the least of our concerns right now. Nice! Electric whip and crowbar are very solid spec. And both, like, straightforward weapons, which makes them nice. No weird combo, no odd crit condition. Well, I guess the, the crowbar has kind of a weird crit condition, but it'll just happen naturally. <sighs> All right. We're very close to getting out of here. We could leave now. We have our exit to the sepulcher. I'm not going to do that. I want to make sure we've gotten our goodies. And our scroll count's very healthy. Um, the goal now is to avoid aggroing that elite pirate captain. Get Explorer's Instinct, hell yeah. Uh, and we'll pick up our final scroll of power and get out of here. There's another reason not to just buzz through doors. Uh, pirate captains are everywhere. And 20 in 2.0, that's, that's a solid scroll count for... Headed into the Sepulchre. There. Oh, I didn't even kill. I needed one more. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we'll certainly get the sepulcher kill streak. It's really crowded in there. Plus, we've replaced everything except the aura at this point, so it's pretty high quality. All right, corpulent zombies, man. They're what got me last time. Thought he was gonna teleport to me, spread a gap or span a gap with his leap attack. <sighs> oh, corpulent zombies! You're so crazy. Knife thrower over here? Knife thrower over here? No, corpulent zombie though. Grody. Okay. Uh, deliberate movement is going to save us here. We cannot afford to lollygag and run back to lamps like I'm doing right now. It'll burn out, and I'll be left in the dark. Whew. Okay. Well, we need 43 more kills for the kill streak, and this place is scary. Um, also. Where's... Hmm. Oh, is that better? That is better. 
All right, don't get distracted by gear, Cosmander. Oh shit! That could be really bad. <sighs> Sorry for being so loud. Holy shit! Scary moment. It's okay. That's why I recommend Huskies brand gaming diapers. You'll get dirty, but it'll be easier to clean up. Um, where's my lamp? Holy shit. We're gonna take damage! <laughs> All right, we gotta climb up there quick. Don't know where our next lamp is. Okay, so the curse chest is still here, out in the open. It's just not right at the door anymore for 2.0. Yeah, darkness damage doesn't kill us. Used to in 1.0, but no more. It's just scary. Um, it ramps up quickly, and really the danger I find of the darkness damage is the panic, and it makes you like run into other enemies, make a bad decision. I think that's what got me in my other situation last time. Is that another elite corpulent zombie? Why did they have to be the mob? Is the elite here? Uh, that's fine. It looks like he killed himself with his ground pound. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with this! Oh wow, and I may not get the kill streak now. <laughs> That'd be a treat. least of my concerns. If we make it through here alive, I'm perfectly happy. And we're burning the ground when we run. That's pretty sweet, especially for it, our amulet also having brutality scrolls and extra jump. Oh, indeed. Survival is key. All right. Who's in this hallway, I wonder? Since that's a permanent lamp, I'm going to scout, scout, scout. All right, good. We know we're safe from the left now. throw a grenade down here, because I don't... I started getting more brave with my handling of corpulent zombies. I regret that I did that. <laughs> right now, I just want to respect them. Whew, that's a lot of dudes. So we have ample money. Ooh, yeah! Might be time to get this fire nade going. Extra damage to a bleeding target. That's almost like we saved ourselves in addition to upgrading the quality of that fire grenade. I wanted to do extra damage to bleeding target because we have uh, open wounds on. But the fact that it's 
I got a higher quality one, and that was pre-rolled, extra damage to bleed. That could have easily cost the same price just to roll that onto our old fire grenade, so. All right. Oh, boy. Looks like we gotta go down. Fight these dudes. Teleporty? Teleporty? No? Uh, also, runes in the wall, not in the floor, but runes in the wall spawn a permanent lamp, so you can strategize that way around your sepulcher stuff. So if you see a rune in the wall, make that your finish line. Um, if you're in desperate need of light. All right, 16 more for the kill streak. We may get that just kind of ambiently. I'm not, I may go out of the way to get it. I'm not sure. the acceptance run. But the acceptance run is always that's a rite of passage too. Okay. Pretty crowded over here. But we can move carefully through. Not a ton of guys. I'm not going to eat that. I'm going to... Actually, I am going to eat that. <laughs> Once he's aggroed, he can jump vertically to a shelf just above him. Beware that. I didn't know that for a long time. It's weird. Oh, shit! Killstreak dead again. That's perfect. We have just a little under our HP cap. Okay, we're in clear shot. No more enemies. Let's kill the giant. And this is when a run really gets... We have one more world area and three bosses to fight. So it's a lot of work, but um, if this is a victorious run... Won't be long, man. Won't be long. Oh, boy. All right, ladies and germs. If I died on that elevator. <laughs> that would have been great. and I see a new lacerating aura. What's up, fun size? Thank you. Happy Curse Sunday to you. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
hand fight. That's the big one. He's the hardest thing left for us. I'm scared. Let's do it to it. Well done, Qualiton. You were just messing up that farmstead. That fight scares me to go. My Vila, what's up? And thank you. Woo! Woo! Sorry, let's get some love for Quantum's second sleeper kill. You are demolishing that. Farm's dead, man. Oh! Okay. Woo! <laughs> he got in my head. Here we go, indeed. Yugoslavian, what's up? Yeah, I just regurgitated some of Mom's spaghetti, and I haven't lived with my mother for over two decades. Or, almost two decades. <laughs> and I haven't had spaghetti for, like, years. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I love it when people break virtuous in the farmstead. <sighs> also, uh, if y'all like 5 BC Dead Cells... Watch Luthamir play it! He plays this, he plays Gunfire, Reborn, he plays Curse of the Dead Gods, he plays all sorts of awesome stuff. And you will not be disappointed if you look at his channel and watch him. Ah, Spack. Yeah, Concierge. His little red aura is frustrating. Hmm. Focused and powerful. I still, I, for the amount of Darkest Dungeon I've played and the success we've had with it on various difficulties, I still really don't know anything about the virtues or the afflictions. I'm just like, selfish. Sounds like you're not going to heal them when I tell you to? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? I want, uh... Just... Combo. I just want to kill things. Whew, all right. Uh, it's dangerous here in the Astrolab. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when the screen gets red and they go, no, then I know that's bad. And when they go, ha ha, and look all happy and there's a white light behind them, I know that's good. All right, I'm not messing around with librarians. I'll tell you that much. Can we get a big, bad, bad curse sword here? Please. K. 
cannot. That freezes an enemy with a parry. I don't want it right now. Maybe later. And now we got business to attend to here. And we are going to unapologetically be playing very carefully in the Astro Lab. When we make it this far, it's a real bummer uh, if things go wrong, so. And there's a lot of potential blind spots here as well. Uh, we'll be listening hard for Magistrates of Death warming up. We'll be listening real hard to these guys. Zug, what's up? Hello. Um, the perils. There are many of them. Ooh. We're definitely going to avoid... an elite shielded... Uh, Magistrate of Death, if we can. And Zug, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess you. Well done. Congratulations. Welcome to the world of the Astrolab. <laughs> just got two thumbs and just used them to kick the hand's ass. Or the giant's ass, rather. But well done. Yeah, what a nightmare that is. I'm just gonna see if we can ignore it altogether. Denial! I feel you. I was, uh... I was slow to progress through the difficulty levels. We had to take it easy and let things sink in the hard way again and again. Lots of deaths. It's true. <laughs> yep. Taint easy. Also, those goddamn breakable uh, floors have boned me in the past as well. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's also worth noting they, they shuffle these difficulties a lot. So I think we've all had pretty different experiences um, each class. Like if you're playing 2BC 1.0, that's way different than 2BC um, even just before these most recent patches, 1.9 and 2.0. Um, holy shit. So I over aggroed after getting into a nasty situation. But we're still alive. We're sweating a little bit. That's okay. Sweat makes the grass grow just the same. Run over here. He doesn't want to. He knows what he's doing, is the unfortunate part. Yeah, we caught that librarian on fire. And this power nade, I mean, this fire nade is not to be trifled with. These shield generators are the bane of my existence. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get impatient with it. Yep. Magistrate knows what's up. I respect these. Some of this AI is silly. Uh, some of it is shockingly scary. Even for an experienced player, where I'm just like, dude. They knew. <laughs> they knew and they reacted. And the results will be redacted. Because it ended in my death. Zack kid. Hmm. There is a librarian somewhere nearby. I think on this top shelf. We'll go peep from the top. All we need is an Allen key. And then we can go through our tower. Hopefully we'll be able to get our Allen key without 
uh, upsetting our dear friend, the Magistrate of Death Elite, who was looking so nasty before. Two for one! Two for one. Woo! Don't really want to fight him either. Probably gonna have to. Maybe not, though. Okay, so unless something kills the shield generator, I feel wigged out by having a guy on my exact plane stare at me like that. But he won't teleport as long as he's shielded, and he won't become unshielded unless his shield bearer gets distracted or killed. Our shield generator defender. So, he should be good. Again, sorry it's slow going, but when we make it this far, uh, the collector... We could certainly die there, but um, it's far less likely than dying here in the Astrolabe, so... Just trying to maximize victory. Come on, I think they're going to make me go up. Alright, so we're caught between two elites now. We've got kind of... Up and to the left on the map, there's a Magistrate of Death that's got a guy shielding him and a Librarian guarding them both. That's pretty dicey. And we've also got a, a failed experiment down here who seems upsetting. We'll take him out. Or not. I want to jump over you. Oh. Just die. There you go, bud. Ha! <laughs> They're smart, man. These shield generator guys are really smart. Alright, so it seems like maybe down this tower? I'm really hoping we can get to our Allen Key without fighting more elites. He's stout, because he's... He's been working out. Well, what we could do is just clear the tower and then we'll get Explorer's Instincts, then we can see. Uh, exactly where the Allen key is. Hey, Petra Gurley. If you'd like to sit in my lap, you can. Hey, girl. Hello. Hello, you sweet kitty. <sighs> you sweet girl. You sweetie. Ah, makes me nervous when they shoot those, even when I'm completely invincible to them. Because I'm on the wrong shelf. You sweet girl. You're pretty. You're pretty cutie. I almost rolled into him instead of away from him. That would have been quite fatal. Alright, these blind teleports are some of the trickiest parts of this.
Yes. I always like dunking on a librarian. They're just mean enemies. Hooey. Who else is down there? Nobody. Looks like we do have an elite in the tower. That's scary. We'll take care of it. These birds are nasty. I want to come down behind them and get a slash in. This is dangerous because I don't want to accidentally grab the uh, librarian when we grab the, the bird. in behind him and try to slash him to death. And now again, a blind teleport. Okay, that is our tower. We don't have our Allen key yet, so we're going to have to go back. Hopefully Explorer's Instinct will pop just right around here. I think first we'll fight this elite. Oh no, we we can get to we get to go down here. Yeah. Hopefully our Allen key is just right here. Okay. Yeah. So we might have an elite, but not too not too shabby. Just a bird, he can't aggro to me. I'm just a bird. <laughs> it's no doubt, but a little different. Whoa, why did he get so mad? Someone else is flying. What? What was that sound? That was a jetpack sound. That was scary. Bring the, the failed experiment up. Oh shit. Ah. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Fighting our way down. Fighting our way downtown. Nice spec, yes. So gold color weapons are legendary. And the legendaries have the unique... They have some unique fixes that can only be rolled on legendary versions of weapons. They also pull from the entire loot pool. So you can see stuff uh, in a legendary weapon pull that you don't have unlocked yet. So you could get anything I've got unlocked in my save. It's theoretically, uh, except the barrel launcher and the test all the things in the 1.9 patch can drop for you from a, as a legendary. 
So if it's something you've not seen before and you end up really enjoying using a legendary version of it, it can be good to remember that. So if you get the blueprint, you're like, aha, I will definitely unlock this one. Legendary Electric Whip? That's beautiful. Uh, also, fun fact, Spac, the uh, legendary items are cheaper to re-roll than others, so. <laughs> All right, y'all, time for the tower. Let's get in there. And we're going to have even more Brute, uh, thankfully. So much Brute. Not long now. Thank you, Ludwig. What's up? And thank you. So those guys, when they're not shielding anybody, have an amazing melee attack. That's amazingly scary, not amazingly cool. Who do we have here? I don't think she died. Yeah, no. Nice. Writing for fun, writing for school, or a little bit of both. Or just writing something that's neither school nor fun. <laughs> so that Magistrate of Death would be the surprise. Oh, snap! Very nice. Okay. Uh, yes, back. So those are all pretty solid affixes. The biters can be frustrating occasionally, but you'll learn to adjust to them. We're going to wait till this guy's facing the other direction. But that Magistrate of Death would have had a surprise attack. Um, it's possible he would have gotten his attack out before I was ready, uh, and it would have hung over the edge here and hit me while I was trying to deal with that failed experiment. So that's why I did that that way. that many enemies left, y'all. Ooh, elite bomber. Not cool. That's scary. Hey, sweet girl. Hello, sweetie. Okay, it died. <sighs> Gently. Gently. Alright, his power is invisibility. Thank goodness. I was trying to vamp to see what his ability was. If it was the ball laser, that was going to scare me to death. Um, because they can fly with it activated, even though it's technically... They're not supposed to travel with an elite ability activated. Hey, girl. Okay. Okay, sweetie. Okay. Let's stay paused. Careful. We got a librarian and we're cursed. We're very close to the victory. Sweetie. Well, congratulations on being that close to being done, Crooked Stun. Um, I've never done any graduate school myself, but I have friends who have. Um, and it sounds grueling, but quite rewarding at the end. <laughs> so I'm happy for you that you're at the end. Okay, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's kill this. Let's kill this librarian. So that's the danger. I was afraid that there was going to be like a bomber or someone else. So if that uh, librarian had locked onto us, we would have been dealing with a bomber timing of his slams and a librarian with his laser. Uh, that can get gross.
And we are going to take the failed experiment. We're going to wait for that bird to be far enough away that he does not get to play with us immediately. And again, a Magistrate of Death right at the edge of a cliff is a very dangerous opponent. Uh, he can send that skull with a vertical laser and it will drip over the edge, as it were, uh, in a very scary way. And that, ladies and germs, is the last non-collector fight we have to do on this 5BC Curse Sword run, because we're going to cheese the hell out of these birds. Didn't seem like they both died, but I... Oh, they didn't yet. What's he doing? Oh. <laughs> chasing the birds. Drop around the pub, chasing some birds. All right. Collector time, y'all. This is the big, the big business. That's what we're working toward here. If we win, this will be our 13th of these runs. And our first successful one in the 2.0 Alpha. Actually, our first attempted in the 2.0 Alpha. Oh, which is now a beta, sorry. Okay. Woo! We still take emergency triage. We need that quick sip at the end. For the damage buff. Alright, y'all. I'm not freezing up here, am I? No. <laughs> that would have been sad. We got a beautiful moon. Let's do this. Number 13. Whoo. <sighs> mm. <sighs> For Norbert. Oh. Man. Whoo. Yeah, that was our first try in the 2.0. Oh. I got real shaky during those laser attacks. Thank you, Yugoslavian. Thank you, everyone. Oh. He's dead. Bye, Collector. Oh. Oh. 